Hi folks, um, I'm just going to do a quick video. It's on my phone, so sorry about the quality. Uh, hopefully it helps some of you guys out that have just been asking me some questions quickly. Um, you know, getting certain different scale sizes of the arms that want to do the KMG speed model. Sorry for the noise, my 3D printer is currently on uh, printing a, a piece. Um, yeah, so I use SketchUp to do my 3D drawing, SketchUp 3. Uh, so what you want to do is open it up, um, I get rid of this little man. And what you want to do is uh, go to the KMG speed site download the brochure for the speed. What you find on here, it has uh, a, a diagram on page three. So once you've downloaded that, it's a PDF file. You need to then convert that to a JPEG file. So again, there's a free converter online. Uh, one I've just used is pdf2jpg.net. That downloads it to a JPEG file. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, download page three, because that's got the di dimensions on that one. So that downloads into your uh, download box. And what you want to do is get a scale, cal scale calculator up. Um, on the PDF, on the file, um, on the side it's got dimension. So the top height of this, this ride uh, from fully swing, you know, from the main seat swinging around, uh, it's 36 meters in height from floor to the top. Uh, so on the scale calculator, I've uh, converted 36 meters, one one, uh, into millimeters in one sixteenth scale. I'm going to change it to uh, centimetres actually, which is 225. Um, once you know, so now we know it's 225 centimetres uh, for 1 16th scale. We go to SketchUp, um, kind of add your the JPEG file we've downloaded into it as an image. What you want to do is click it into the, into the bottom corner and just kind of scale it, just draw it out for now and click on it. Uh, then what we want to do is on the side, we've got uh, the tape measure dimensions and you want to click at the top of that arrow and the top of this arrow. And that now gives us, I've set it to millimeter, uh, that now gives us the in mil how tall this is for scaling. Um, what you can do then is uh, highlight the pitch, click on the picture, and on the side we have a scale tab. That's now highlighted this, and we know uh, on the scale calculator it's uh, two two five oh mil. I don't know why I had to redo that one. <laughs> so what we want to do is uh, get this to two two five oh mil, um, and what we do is. Now we've got the whole thing scaled. If you try and scroll down, because the, the closer you get, the better accuracy you get. And as I'm scaling down, so I'm just clicking the top bit and I'm dragging it down to scale, uh, you'll see that my measurements are moving. So I want to get that down to 2250 or as close as I can get it. Uh, I know if you keep going smaller, you then get closer. 2254, which is not it's pretty much there. So that's now scaled down to 22, uh, pretty much 1 16th scale. Um, and that's all I've basically been using. So I've been going off this diagram. Uh, again, on SketchUp, you've got on the side all sorts of different things. Uh, we've got the pencil. So what I've then basically done is gone along and I've just pretty much highlighted all these pieces. And then you can draw these up, make them 3D. Um, the arms, you know, this side, that side, they, they're actually angled, so it takes a bit of a uh, bit of doing. Um, but then you can also use this diagram to, again, use the tape measure on the side, and you can see each arm pieces. So I could measure from there to the end, and that's gonna give me my rough height. Um, Hope that works. Hope that's useful for you. I'll, I'll try and do a, a better in-depth video on uh, all my drawings on uh, SketchUp I've been using. Thanks. See you soon.